Hello everyone. So um, there's my zygo. I brought it here. This is gonna be another uh, new location for my other for the rest of the orchids. And my husband built this uh, pergola just this winter because it's it's almost spring now or it's already spring I think in Florida um, yeah when the temperature uh, warms up a little bit he work on this um, pergola and he even have slabs ready for me to put the plants the round ones are the we have four mango trees and one of the mango trees got cut off so instead of throwing them away he um, did that for me to put the orchids to hang the orchids so um, this is an area an extra one that got vacant so he turned it into um, like a seating area there's gonna be barbecue here yeah so um, and next behind me is the shed um, where it's not done yet I he has to paint the floor to protect it from uh, you know constant uh, rain uh, that's yesterday today and tomorrow that flower there so um let's see so this is i go uh we're gonna do a closer look on this i go and i'm also uh, monitoring the uh how much sun can get through in this pergola and at different times of day before i put in my uh, orchids so but because this is a a nice area to talk about the plant here um i don't know there's much light in here going coming in but um yeah this is a black colored with a deep purple lip of saigo and um let me see i forgot something hey we're back so um this is a closer look on this zygopetalum this is zygopetalum debbie de mello honolulu baby and it has an award am award of merit by um, aos american orchid society and so yeah you see the lip there it's there's like a raised area there and in the center it's green there but yeah this is raised here and then the leaf with a white speckles and this is dark here and then so yeah we're gonna take a closer look because i didn't do that and i think this plant deserves you know to be be shown because it's so beautiful and this is a ruler in inches and yeah it's almost three inches right yeah and then the width is this one here i guess it also depends how much you take care of it if you give it the right care then it gives you a bigger uh, flower and yeah so this is there's four of them look at that uh, look at the upper lip there or nose that one has a white one well this one don't isn't it maybe that other one's fading and this one and then we're gonna turn on the back here and the lip ha is in the back is white as you can see there yeah and then while we're here down here is its media it's kind of mixing bark like medium bark so the vendor said I can put this um, under the tree so it can get rain then it won't get soggy so yeah so it has that spicy uh, fragrant smell to it and we're gonna turn 
and look where the sun is shining in the back the back of that petal is green that's why I wanted this to show to you look at those petals so if you're a zygo lover or just want thinking of getting one this is a very pretty one yeah I thought I'd share this with you yeah 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 very pretty specimen so yeah that's why um, I did a quick um, video of this because I don't think I talk to you uh, more in detail about it when we I did an orchid haul but when I look closer to the plant yeah I need to share this with you anyway um, thank you guys for watching and um, I'm sorry if I cannot answer you sometimes when you, you may you have a question or you know when you make a comment because um, I work long hours in the hospital and um, it takes time for me to get back on with you and sometimes your question I, I, I need to wait till I get home to uh, answer you correctly like what sometimes uh, information about the vendor or sometimes uh, what media was it on and I'm not very sure I have to dig through the through the pot to make sure that it's just what it is you know so anyway I hope to see you again guys and thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time bye now